Okay, so this is the image that I take uh, of an object. So what we are going to work is to model that uh, object in um, with functions. So we're going to use GeoGebra. And I'm going to use GeoGebra Classico. You can use any of them. It actually doesn't matter. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paste the image that you have on GeoGebra with this menu and you are going to adapt that image to the real size of the object. So first thing I'm going to do in properties is I'm going to change the color and I'm going to make it like more transparent so I can work with it and then I'm going to move it so it is this the the size that I want and the real size of this object is seven centimeters from the bottom of the of the base of the glass to the top of the glass so you can increase the size there you are and I think a little bit more and I think that's that's enough a little bit so we have exactly seven centimeters I think it is correct and the idea is that you put this uh, in the middle so the x-axis should should cut the object in exactly two parts once you have the image in exactly the same uh, size that you needed you are going to fix the image with this uh, this um, icon over here and then we have to model the functions that you have we need a, at least three functions mm, the maximum functions i think it would be five functions so you can cut or you can take uh, pieces of that object in order to to have your function so i'm going to think i think this could look like an, a logarithmic function. So I'm going to write natural logarithm of x. And this is going to be f of x. f of x equals natural logarithm of x. Okay, uh, it looks good, but I need a more open natural logarithm. So I'm going to add a constant that is less than, less than 1. Natural logarithm of x. Then I have to um model this function one so it is a little bit more that's a two two is too much so i'm going to add 1.5 looks like it looks like it modeled the first part okay and then i'm going to cut this function because with a comma let's say i'm going to use the domain of this function from 0 0.1 less than x less than and let's use this function until let's say 0 0.5 let's see um okay a little bit less 45 and let's let's use this from 0 0.1 okay there you have. So as you can see, my function or my green function looks like it is similar to what the function is actually. I'm going to use 3.8. Okay, there you are. And then I'm going to continue with this other part of the class. I think it should be like a parabola that up and downwards if you allow me to do that. So this will be g of x. In that parabola, I will express it as, okay, it's a negative parabola because it opened downwards, and I'm going to express it as x, and then I'm going to put here square, oh no, x square, oh no, x square. Okay, there you have the parabola that opened upwards. Uh, it's a little bit close so in order to open that parabola i'm going to choose uh, 
constant that multiplies its one half looks good and then i'm going to move it to the right one unit so i'm going to do minus one and then i'm going to do uh, i'm going to move uh Two, two units up. I no. Okay, here it is. So plus two. Uh, no, it's not plus two. Let's add one point seven. Uh, uh, no, it's not one point seven. Let's let's move it a little bit less to the right. Looks better and um, minus zero point eighty eight minus point eighty. Okay, mm, okay, looks good to me. A little bit, a little bit open. No, a little bit. A little bit closer, so this will be 1.7. Uh, it looks good to me, and 0.9. Okay, I think that's perfect. So I, it looks good for, to me. I know what you think, but it's very, very close to the to the edges of the glass. So, I think that's, that's it. And I'm going to close the interval or the domain from 0 0.38, which is the last, less than x, less than, less than, and let's take 2.9, more or less. So there you have my second part of the verb. Voy a cerrarlo un poquito más. Le voy a poner aquí uno entre 1.8, uno entre 1.9, 1.7, 7, 4.68. Ok. Más o menos. Y aquí lo voy a llevar hasta 2.7. No, así 2.8. Ahí está 2.8. Y tal vez este, este de arriba, lo voy a llevar hasta 0.4. Ok. Eh, ok. It looks good to me. And then I need uh, this function over here that I'm going to use as a parabola that open upwards, but it's a very, very open parabola. So I'm going to do, as it is a very open parabola, the constant of x squared, it's very small constant. So it will be like, 0 0.1 okay it looks good and then maybe a little bit more open like 0 0.01 no 0 0.1 it would be nice okay and then i'm going to uh move that function let's say one unit up Plus one looks good. Uh, 
What do you guys think about it? Uh, if it is... Point, uh, no, zero point zero nine. Ah, sí, me gusta. Zero point zero nine. And then I have to, again, change the domain to Point nine less than x less than let's say seven. Okay, so basically that that is what we're having. This parabola for me it's a little bit less less okay so that's the idea that we are um developing functions that are very very close to our object of course, I can move this a little bit to the left and a little, little bit down. So minus plus 0 0.9. Let's use this, 0 0.9. You can work and, uh, I don't know, move your, move your, your function so you, you have the best possible approximation on your object.